Hello reformers and welcome back to Viking Conquest. When we left off we were just running around Ireland trying to find some wool and also partaking in quite a few wonderful battles. We got into some pretty sticky situations but we got ourselves out of them and here we have just received a messenger. I'm still in Ireland, by the way, because I've still just been running around trying to find some wool. I also found a ransom broker, finally, at one of the nearby towns. I was able to sell my prisoners for about 700, which is not that good. But yeah, otherwise, I've not really come across any parties of units that I've wanted to fight. And the only other thing that I've done is recruit a couple more spearmen. I was able to find some more spearmen in a nearby tavern. Anyway, here we are. To the man named Borgar Beartilt, my master, the abbot of Finian, has sent me. He has heard of you and wants to talk about an important mission. He asks you to visit him at his monastery, Finian, near that place. I will not attempt to pronounce it. He will pay you 1,000 pennies just to come and listen to him. All right, yeah, we're, we're going to do that. Now, <laughs> I actually started the episode wanting to go into this mystic circle here because I actually thought that would be really kind of fun because I have, I have no idea what's in there but I apparently should go to Finian instead where is where is that where where is it I thought I saw it uh, oh it's all the way over there all right well uh, I well it doesn't seem like there is a time limit to this so that should be absolutely fine and there are a couple of people that have leveled up since last time as well so let's just speak to them real quick we're going to be speaking to Asbjorn as well he actually has an attribute point here I'm probably just going to spend that in intelligence just so we can get a couple more skill points out of it and let's level up his power strike it's about time that he get a little bit more powerful and there we go. Okay, so Borgar has also advanced in level. I'm very bad at specking him, to be honest. But, well, let's see what we can do here. I sh should probably get some more Seeking. I should get some more Seeking and maybe some more Goldeen as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a reference. If you, if you know what that is, then thumbs up to you. Anyway, weapon maintenance. Don't think we need that. Athletics, not really necessary. Riding skill, not really necessary either. And tactics, nope, nope, don't need that. Surgery, no. Persuasion, I guess. Another point in persuasion and maybe another point in... Uh, I mean, once we get our own ships, obviously navigation is going to be a pretty important facet of that. So I suppose we'll, we'll just do that so we can move 15% faster on the ocean waves. And let's just get a couple of points in two-handed, even though there are very few two-handed weapons, actually, that I've come across so far. All right. So I'm ready. As you can see, I have quite a bit of iron and wool. I found this all in villages. I think I may have purchased one basket of wool from a town because it was only about 230 in comparison to like 350 400 etc you know usually those things are quite expensive at other towns anyway your eyes distinguish a special place which looks like it was raised by the ancients tell me timmy <laughs> on this doll where did yeah where, where, did, he, did he touch a special place yes yeah that's 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 what, that's what this kind of says to me anyway perhaps it is a good time to visit and enjoy the art of another time. There we go. Yeah, that's not what Timmy said. All right, so let's go. We've got Scooby alongside us. And, well, I assume we need to go up ahead here. I mean, usually they, they you know, make you appear in the direction that you really need to go in. So hopefully we're going to come across something or someone. Maybe a treasure chest or something like that. It looks like, I mean, come on. It's a very isolated area and it kind of says to me that there, there might be something pretty awesome here all right so let's see mystic stones reveal your secrets where are we? well there's nothing here is there doesn't seem like there's anything here maybe this oh look there seems to be a person there is a person over there what is this though this seems like a, a bit of discolored ground what does that mean yeah uh, I kind of thought there might be something there that I could interact with. Okay, so considering this guy's got his back to me, I kind of assume that maybe he's going to attack us. So maybe we should just wait until our stamina comes back a little bit. But, I mean, his name is Wolfheart. Oh my. Okay, hello there. You seem... Should I get out my weapons? 
Should I get... Yeah, I, I should probably get out my weapons. Just in case. The man, flattening the floor with his feet, suddenly turns towards you when you approach him. At first, he seems surprised, but quickly flashes a smile. Hey, hey, who are you, and what are you doing in, in my hole? <laughs> are we... Are we saying hello to Krusty the ca Clown now? Because he's like, hey, you know. <laughs> All right, so let's have a look here. I am Borgar Berthold. What are you hiding here? Well, well, you're a funny man to poke your nose into other people's affairs. You know, I met a man like you once, a real goose. As an old god once said, I will answer all your questions if you solve but a single riddle of mine. And what happened to that man? That man had only one question to answer. Can you imagine? A single question. But he failed and died before the divine. Now you must play this game. I'll ask you a riddle, and if you solve it, I'll answer all your questions. But if you fail, I'll take your soul. All right, here. Yeah. <laughs> I've played games with worse odds. Proceed. Okay, so... Uh, what, what, what? What? What is this? Okay, so actually, I didn't say you have a choice. There is only one option, so let's play. This is a let's play. Listen carefully, for your life is at stake. Heh <laughs> heh. And the riddle is, <laughs> I cannot be seen, I cannot be felt, I cannot be heard, I cannot be smelt. I lie behind stars and under the hills and holes, no matter how deep I can always fill. I always come first and always follow after. I end all life and I kill all laughter. Right. Well, that sounds like... Uh, it sounds like death to me initially. Uh... Under the hills? I don't know. I, I think darkness, probably. I mean, clouds are not going to be under the hills. Air is not going to be under the hills unless, I don't know, in catacombs or something, I suppose. Water, probably under the hills. I don't know. I'm, I don't know why I'm focusing on under the hills here. I, I guess I'm just going to go for darkness. I don't want to play. I don't want to play anymore. Let me out of here. No, we're going to go for darkness, I guess. I mean, and holes, no matter how deep I can always fill. That's not water. It's not clouds, not air, and death, I mean, what is death? That's a very philosophical question, of course, so, I mean, I think darkness is probably the one that is the most likely. Darkness, I kill all laughter? I don't know about that. I think that's a little bit esoteric, but okay. Ah! Oh. There we go. We got it. You're smarter than you look. Yes, it's darkness. Now I will answer your questions. My pals and I are hiding treasure. Why? Because we are bandits and we stole it from a rich man. As you might have already guessed, this information is too valuable for you to live with, so your life will end now anyway. Oh, thank you. Kill. Kill. <laughs> okay, apparently he's he's not available to kill yet. Ah, uh, yep, there, there, I'm, I'm still attacking him, apparently. Where, where am I? There we go. Kill him. Yes. There we go. Okay, I have Scooby with me. Oh, look, all of his comrades are stuck behind the rocks. That's always nice. Well, this is going to be interesting. I should probably just stand here. Scooby is not having a very good time of things. Maybe I can tell Scooby to go somewhere else. Go over there, Scooby. Run. Run over there. Ah, oh, you didn't do a very good job, Scooby. Oh, that's not very good. Okay, come on, let's do this. I have a much better sword than you, yes. This is exactly what we need. I'm so thankful that they gave them daggers, really. Very, very thankful that they gave them daggers, but this is unfortunately a bit of a problem because they're now going to start swarming us, and that's never a good thing. Ow. Okay, come on. Y y yeah, let's fight them in between the stones. They're going to have to fight us like two on one here now which is much better than our odds beforehand, so I'm pretty happy with that. that. I guess that's the reason why they give you all these stones to fight with, because look at that, I can just use these stones as a really, really nice decoy. There we go. Come on, yeah, I'm gonna use the reach. Gonna use the reach. Not the Westerlands. <laughs> oh yes, I'm gonna use the reach of my weapon. And it is going to plunder their very depths. It is. I do like plundering the depths. There we go. You are so tired and you can barely move a muscle. No wonder, Borgar. No wonder. All right, so where's the treasure that they buried? Is it over here in this discolored... Oh, 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 what's this? The battle against the bandits was hard, but you've risen to victory. Pick it through the... Okay. Yeah. I, I always feel like those little tidbits of information disappear way too fast because no one is going to either be able to read them 
I, I guess you could probably read them pretty fast, but even so, I'm not able to say it that quickly. Anyway, let's take a look. Recent messages, what do we have? 10,000? Wow, 10,000 pennies for that. And five renown, that is really cool. Okay, and we also gained a something, and also a scale lorica. Okay, the something is obviously something that I'm not particularly wanting to try and pronounce, but it is a sword. Wait a minute, is the sword actually good? I've actually got a pretty decent sword in comparison to this, but this seems like a pretty good one in the way that it is, I suppose better in close quarter situations, and it can be used much better in terms of thrusts. So I'm happy with that. What about the armor? 46? Uh, it's a little bit better. It's a little bit better than what we have, and the one that I have right now can be given to someone else. So I'm actually going to give that to... Kayo, I guess. He's going to be someone that I actually want to keep around for the foreseeable future, so hopefully he will stay with us. But if not, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do. Alright, so there you go. We have a bunch of timber, by the way, and I also have the tools that I require. I found the tools in a nearby town. Very kind of lucky about that. We now have 26,000 pennies, and we still haven't even sold our wool and all of that other stuff. So let's go up to Finian, because of course we do have that now to do. So let's go up there. And actually see what's going on, because it would be kind of fun to see. And, oh, there's, a, you know, there's another spawn area for some Vikings. Wow, 31 thieves. Huh. Do we want to fight those 31 thieves? It might be an idea. Okay, let's do it. Why not? Ooh, 74 thieves? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. That's, uh, wow, that's, that's pretty crazy. Let's do it. I'm happy to do that. I don't even mind fighting 105. I'm fine with this. No problem at all, because these guys are just ruffians. They don't have anything on us. Thank you very much. Or do, maybe they do. Maybe they, uh, yeah, maybe they did the L.A. Noir thing on us, and they have a bunch of evidence against us or something. But they are thieves, so they are technically on the wrong side of the law, I guess. And, uh, well, that's unless they are Robin Hood, of course, who is, well, he's still on the wrong side of the law, I guess. But still. Anyway, this is actually quite a quite a large battle. Uh, did you did you happen to notice how how much renown I'm going to be getting for this? Because I didn't. I completely missed that, which is of course the way things always go. So let's see what happens here. All right, so Helgi and Bodo are going to go to the front here because they're apparently faster than most of our units. I am quite positive about this particular attack that we're going to make here, but I really do need to be very careful not to get eliminated by, well, not to get my horse eliminated, shall I say, because getting my horse eliminated is going to strand me behind enemy lines, and suffice it to say, that's really not a good idea. So, we're just going to charge in, try and do as much damage as possible. I mean, look at this, we're decimating them so incredibly easily that most of them will be routing pretty fast. And that's that's fine. I absolutely do not mind if they decide to rout, because that just makes things a little bit easier for us. And I'm going to just continue dealing some damage on the outskirts here. I, I can't believe that they're surviving 58 damage hits, to be honest. I mean, there was a guy that literally survived 58 damage. And you would think that these ruffians would have less than 58 HP, but... Apparently not. Apparently not. So that's interesting. Anyway, this is... Yeah, they're certainly not going to survive this. Thank you very much. I mean, look at that. They must have at least 60 HP. So I guess they have 60 as a base? That's interesting. Okay. Well, my horse is almost done. Does my stamina go down when I attack? Seems like it might. Interesting. Okay, come on. Yep, there we go. And, yeah, nice, all right. So, we killed all of them, <laughs> and we lost one unit, which was literally just wounded. I guess the renown value is kind of, eh, kind of fitting, I guess, because eight renown for defeating the lowest level of bandit is not, it's not really that bad, I guess. I mean, you, you can see all the loot as well. The loot is really very much fitting two in the long you know along the lines of being the worst bandits ever so anyway yeah is that a town 
No, that's not a town. This is a town over here. Okay, so I'm going to go over here and see if I can find a ransom broker because I think he was in Dublin, but now he's... I don't know where. So, no, this is where... Uh, no, that's not where it is. Okay, so let's go to Dublin real quick. Then we'll go to Finian after this and see what the abbot wants from us. I am thinking he's probably going to ask us something like, convert to paganism or something along those lines. Oh, there's a lot of wool here. I didn't even see that last time. They must have gotten some... <laughs> gotten some wool deliveries, yes. Uh, yeah. Okay, so let's have a look here. I'm going to sell this helm. And... Uh, yeah, okay. Let's take all this. Nice, nice. Okay, that's that seems really good to me. Oh, wait a minute. I missed one. Huh, weird. Okay, so that is great. Wow, I, I can't even, I can't be happier about that. Now, did I check the mead hall yet? No, I haven't. And there's a ransom broker. So he's still here. That's nice. There's also an old captain. Maybe we should speak to the old captain in a second. Okay, so there's the prisoners. Not too bad. 448 for, what, 16 ruffians? That's okay. But obviously right now we're very much, much higher level in terms of our money income and all that sort of thing. Okay, so let's have a look. I will join you for 1200. Okay, join us, old captain. Is it just me or is... Can I... <laughs> wow. Okay. That is a very, very large woman, indeed. I mean, the old captain is, 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 is about the same height as me, but... Wait a minute. Is that the tall variant? Because I know that you can choose between short, tall, and medium heights. And is that the tall variant? Because that looks extremely, extremely tall. Anyway, let's go in here and see if there's just a... Yeah, no, there isn't any. Okay, I like to take the, you know, take advantage of where we currently are and make sure that we're, you know, getting the most benefit possible from these areas. Because it's going to be a while until I come back to Ireland, so it would probably be a nice idea to make sure that everything is sewn up really, really nicely. Anyway, let's visit the abbot and see what he has to say. Hello there. You have a well that doesn't go anywhere in your in your house. Well, it, it, I mean in your monastery, sorry. Okay, so abbot, hello there. I received your message. Why have you sent for me? So you are Borgar Beartold. I do not know much about you, and I'm not particularly interested to learn. However, my patron gave me a list. And it included your name. Here is 1,000 pennies. Now listen for my patron has a mission for you. Give this money to the orphans. Uh, do I, do I want to do that? Because that's going to... Is that going to increase my pagan standing and reduce my Christianity? I don't actually know. I'm just going to ask. For now, I will only say that he is someone important. A man who can make or break kings. Is he a chess player? You will be surprised to know that my patron is a mighty man, and yet he has chosen you. He watches you for his spies and informers, reformers, haha, <laughs> are everywhere. He has entrusted you with an important mission for which you will be generously rewarded. Speaking of reward is music to my ears. The abbot clears his throat and fixes his eyes on yours. A dangerous man, a robber, and a murderer, the enemy of my patron, has taken refuge in the old land of the Picts, and is recruiting an army of outlaws. He plans to return to Eriu and attack the good people that live here. My patron's spies have found out that this man is recruiting warriors from the Mead Hall of Skuin. This man must be stopped. You will be paid 5,000 to put an end to his life. So, the abbot is effectively a hitman basically. Kind of. Anyway, tell me about this man and why he must die. By one another, a thousand in advance for expenses? No, I don't really care. Uh, without a doubt, I am your man. Well, this is fun. This is new to me. Okay. Very well. I recommend that you travel with all haste to Skewen. Look for a man there called the Snake in the Mead Hall. Return quickly once the problem is solved. Godspeed. Okay. So, we're going to go and stop Metal Gear with Snake, I assume. Yes? <laughs> Seems like there's a huge amount of references in this episode. Okay, so, Skuin, where is it? Is it far away? Oh, no. I have a bad feeling that it's all the... Yes, it's all the way in Scotland. So, that's going to be fun. There's also Stone Row over here. We might want to go over there and see what's going on. And there's a bunch of other things, as far as I'm aware. 
Is there? Uh, it's just a bunch of monasteries. Yeah, that, that that's basically it, unfortunately. So there is the Stone Road to check out, and I, I guess we're going to be doing that. But in the next episode, because it's going to take me a little bit of time to get over there anyway, and I might like to do a little bit of trading as well. Anyway, that will be it for this episode. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.